All right, guys, welcome back. So we're here doing homecoming. Got the dog. Wait, I wonder if you take fire damage. I don't think you do. Okay, is that a surfboard? I like this guy. But what are we looking at? We have to guard this door. I don't know about you guys, but I've always hated missions with turrets in them. Because it, it just it feels boring. I like things that have like a, kind of like a Gauss cannon, if any of you guys played Halo 2. Something where it just has like, you shoot like once and it has like some AOE and it's just like an explosion. It's just, it's more satisfying than just holding down the trigger. To me at least it is. It's still kind of boring because you're just sitting here waiting for something to happen. Over here and go prone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think you can. I think you can shoot them. There we go. Hold. Let's pull me. I think it's just to go prone. Let's just take out. Let's just take out the driver. I don't think you can even see the driver. Alright, there we go. All we need to do is uh, strafe anyways. What a great name, Two Stone to Blight. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always used to going pro when I'm using score streaks. It's just a habit from playing so much uh, actual COD multiplayer. I, I can't angle it to hit the other tank. I don't think we can kill it anyways. I hate the color scheme of this level. It's like it's got this whole like gray, no color. Like I didn't know how to take cover. I'm just gonna do this. We fly faster. Cook it all the way. I think I cooked it too long. We burnt it. It's a flash, I think. Or stun. I can't hit him. Oh, I thought I was supposed to use the uh, the drone again. Yes, like a couple more seconds. Exactly, see the tank, but apparently we got it. We're all good. And just because you just spray as hard as possible. I 
I think if I go out, this is the part where I can, uh, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Last time I think I played uh, when I first my first uh, playthrough on the R version, I, I was like, no, no, I'm gonna kill it. You can't actually kill it. You'll actually die to the uh, the other chopper. <laughs> Unfortunately. I thought it would always been cool if uh, you can shoot the score streaks out with like a sniper. Like if you had a sniper, you could snipe out the uh, driver. That would have been pretty cool. I can't even aim it that far. Let's mess with this. We're good. He doesn't want to die. There we go. I'm so glad they don't have Last Stand in this game, though. I hated that. If you guys haven't played Call of Duty before, Last Stand uh, is... Sometimes it's a perk, sometimes it's like a death streak or something before one of them. But um, what it is, is after you would normally die, you go on the ground and you pull out your secondary. And it's very difficult to get a kill. It's just more annoying than anything. And then usually what happens is... You don't end up killing your uh, the guy that killed you. What happens is uh, you don't really die uh, for a short amount of time, and if you have a uh, friendly guy nearby, they can actually bring you back up to life. It's just so annoying. It's like you're right about your to get your score streak, and then you down them, and it doesn't count as a kill. It's just it's very annoying. Can we go up here? Is this a secret? Hold on. Nope, I can't. Oh, I guess this is not a one-shot. It's probably a one-shot headshot. So I'll just do that. This is one of the uh, marksman rifles. I'm trying to look for another computer. <laughs> I think we only found one. Oh, do I have to go prone? No. Oh, we have to wait for it. What's so dumb is you could easily go over this, you know what I mean? Watch us. Watch us. Watch us. <laughs> you could easily move this. Like, what is this table made out of? And it's already, like, burnt. You could just, like, punch it and it would probably crush. Because it's, like, all ash. I like these moments in Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I was like, did I just fail that? You're bleeding. <laughs> Looks worse than it is. You're gonna be okay. I guess that uh, animation of him actually stabbing you and the screen going red doesn't happen in the uh, the unpatched version of this game. Because when I played before, that didn't happen. So I thought I failed. <laughs> and I was like, I'm pushing it pretty hard or pretty fast. Calm down, kid. Hey, we just saved your asses. You didn't need your help. The hell you did. All of you. We have to go back. Our dad's down there, and we're not leaving without him. That's real admirable of you. But your father's not there anymore. Dad, this whole time you you were one of them. You, you're a ghost. Try the ghost. That's your commanding officer. You boys have no idea how hard this was for me. But once I make a choice, there's no turning back. You and your brother still have a lot to learn. But you passed all your tests. Welcome to the ghosts. We're ready. I'm tr I was trying to go around him and there's try to no go to the front to could. check it out, but I can't. I'm proud of you. Both of you. That's all well and good. But what the hell are we gonna do about Rourke? Rourke. That's the guy hunting the ghost, right? Yeah. He's good. Twelve years ago, 
when the Federation's military threatened all of South America. Their leader, General Almagro, demanded all U.S.-born citizens be imprisoned or executed. It was Rourke who convinced Washington to let the ghosts solve the problem. The U.S. sent an invasion force to destroy the Federation. Rourke led us to eliminate Almagro. But Rourke became obsessed with him. He talked of the man as if he were a bounty. And it was clear he would stop at nothing to claim that prize. To us, Rourke was a legend. The man could walk through hell and not get burned. Alright, so that's the end of that mission. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. HG Gaming, signing out.